हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ गॉड स्पीड टुडे वी हैव द ऑल न्यू मर्सिडीज बेंस ई क्लास 220 डी बीएस 6 एक्सक्लूसिव वेरिएंट विद अस सो स्टार्टिंग विद द डिजाइन लैंग्वेज यू कैन सी द बोल्ड एट द फ्रंट विद द बोल्ड मर्सिडीज लोगो कमिंग टू द हेडलाइट्स सो द हेडलाइट्स गेट टू डीआरएलस एंड यू आल्सो गेट प्रोजेक्टर सेटअप विद द मर्सिडीज बेंस इफेक्टिव प्रोजेक्टर लाइटिंग सो द लाइटिंग ऑफ द कार इज क्वाइट गुड द लाइट्स फील गुड नाउ ओवर हियर यू गेट पार्किंग सेंसर्स You can see parking sensor at the front with your air dam, and you get silver inserts around the bumper, and even you get a silver finished chrome grille. So overall appeal from the front of the car is quite elegant. You can see the long hood of the vehicle, and there is a standing Mercedes logo and a bold logo of Mercedes as well. So you can see this car looks very elegant and bold from the front uh, because of the long hood line. Coming to the tires, so first of all you can see side. Parking sensors as well. Come to the tires. So the size of the tires is 225 by 55 R70. So 17 inch tires, dual spoke, and you can see the uh, disc brakes at the front. So these are uh, diamond cut dual tone alloy wheels. Now these are the OVMs with your turn indicators, and the whole window panel gets the chrome insert. You see the whole window panel gets this chrome insert. And this is the blue color of the vehicle, so feels quite good. This is metallic blue. You can see silver chrome, silver chrome line below, and silver chrome door handles. And you also get black dot chromes on your window frames. And uh, overall, you can see the metallic finish of the car feels quite good. Now, when compared to the back, so the back is not that long when, uh, as it is to the in the front. Now these are the tail lights and the uh, overall black back profile. So you get uh, two lines of chrome, one below and one over here. You get the Mercedes logo over here, and here is the badging of E two twenty D. This is the B S six variant of exclusive. Now these are the tail lamps, LED tail lamps, LED door indicators. Feels quite good. Reverse parking sensors with our reflectors. You can see the exhaust. Exhaust finish in chrome, and uh, over there is a chrome line which runs throughout the back of the vehicle. Now, coming to the side again, so let's get to the rear seat and check out the space available. So you get silver chrome door handles, and this is the door of the vehicle. There's a door pocket available. You can adjust the seats from here. There's a memory function as well, and you can see the door pockets are quite big. Button finishing on the door with black and white inserts. This car has white inserts. You can you get window blinds or window sun shades. Now there's a AC vent placement on the side pillar. This is the maximum legroom on offer. You can see the seats finished in white color. So overall the cabin feels quite airy because of the white color. Now here is the AC. You get dual tone. Uh, I mean you get dual zone AC. So you can control your AC. So you get a display below, and you can even adjust the. Fan speed or the temperature of the ACs, and you can get a digital display over here for the AC vents. So this is a quite good feature. Now this is the center armrest, which can be opened up by pressing this button. So let's open this up, and you can see this opens up as a hole, and there's some storage space available over here as well. And uh, surprisingly, you do not get any function for cabin boot access, headrest with extra cushion. Let's close the center armrest because that takes up the whole space. Then you also get a tissue holder over here. Now you get wooden inserts around the doors, and there's no door pocket as well over here. But actually, who needs a door pocket in a Mercedes? Now you can see the seats finished in white color. There's a very big transmission tunnel hump in between, so. Seating five is not that good now. Pressing this, you can access a mirror with lights, and you can see this is so satisfying. It opens up slowly, and you get a large sunroof over there. Now this is the grab rail, and this is grab rail. And by pressing this button, when you press this button, uh, the light will turn on. And by pressing this button as well, you can close the, uh, you can close them. Now there's a Twitter placement over there above, and there's also a hook over there. Now you can see attention to detailing is so good. There's a sun shade over here as well in the. Quarter glass and even in the normal windows you get sun shades and you can see leather finishing and leather binding in the doors. You get uh, speakers on the doors and tweeters as well. Now here's the AC vent over here. By pressing this, you can access a coat holder which looks quite good and premium. So overall, this is a very premium car. Costs around sixty-eight to seventy-two lakhs depending on your city. Now let's open up this door. You can see this is the seat memory function. Now let's open the door and get to the front seats. You get you also get a Mercedes Benz scuff plate which glows up at night. There's a emergency light over here as well which glows up all the time when you open the doors. 
so you can see overall the back seat experience was quite good this car can be used as a chauffeur driven car but on weekends you will like to drive this car on your own this is the front door of the car again flesh in black white and wooden inserts memory seat, memory seat function you can see seats can be adjusted like this seats can be adjusted like this and you see seat being adjusting so feels quite good let me adjust it to my driving position you also get lumbar support over here now this is steering wheel and the doors open wide enough so getting in and out is quite easy not a very difficult task you get large door pockets or there is a button to open the hood of the vehicle while you are inside the car now here is the gear lever you can see there is the gear lever over there or in the front you can see the rpm meter and you can see this is a steering wheel you got a three spoke steering wheel with silver inserts and in the middle there is a Mercedes logo on the left you get black dot chrome and on them you get volume controls or here is the cruise control settings so overall steering feels quite good to hold and premium as well you can see the long bonnet line over there this is the central MID which shows all the information this is the speedometer of the car speed is limited to 60 km per hour not more than that you can see leather finishing on the dashboard as well you get lots of soft plastic available this is the gear lever on the right side on the left side you get a lever to adjust your wipers and indicators and lighting setup over there you could see the engine start stop button this is the headlight control and below over here you can see this is the parking brake control quite weirdly placed according to me but for some people this might be good you can uh, lock or unlock the uh, door from there you get four AC vents in between over here with a very large infotainment system over uh, above it now here are the controls for your ACs infotainment system and a watch over here two cup holders with a charging socket which can be closed up like this feels quite premium in wooden finishing now this is a touchscreen system touchscreen system now here, here are your controls for your driving modes and you can even control the uh, instrument I mean the infotainment system from here by pressing this button you can open up this place this is the central the central place which can be opened up now let me close it and open it once again uh, to show you a nice view of how it opens up so you can see quite premium there is storage place available two usb ports an sd card a port over here as well so feels quite good let's let us close this now so overall the car feels quite good two cup holders over here one big one small now let's open the glove box of the vehicle first so before opening let me show you the overall front appeal so you get three color finishes now let's open the glove box decently sized glove box i won't say it's very big and very small or very small decently sized glove box so overall this car feels quite good so guys if you enjoyed the video do hit the like button and subscribe to godspeed for such videos and do follow instagram for regular car updates